Hi, my name is Acti Donato and this is my interviewing project. So, the first question is tell me a little bit about yourself. So, I was born in South Philadelphia and I've lived here ever since. Uh, I graduated from Prep Charter High School, which is about five to ten minutes away from my house. Through my, ed through my educational career, I've, um, <coughs> excuse me, I've always been a low 90s to mid 90s student, which I think is pretty good. Um, I was very happy to be accepted into Temple's Fox Business School because going into college, I knew I wanted to major in business, and I really didn't have like a backup plan or an alternative field of study that I wanted to uh, enroll into. I wanted to Temple's one of the two schools that I applied to, and the other one being the Community College of Philadelphia. And the reason I applied to these two schools because I wanted to stay close to home. I didn't want to go too far away for college. So one of the things I enjoyed doing most is uh, to play and watch sports. My four favorite sports in order are football, hockey, basketball, and baseball. My favorite sport to watch is by far football. And um, my favorite sport to play is hockey. I played hockey from about ages 6 to 12. Um, each week, me and my friends usually get together and play a couple games of football or basketball each week, which is really fun. But um, just, spending time, just spending time with friends in general is uh, one of the most enjoyable things that I do. Because, you know, just fun to spend time with friends. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, another thing I like to do is play video games. When I was little, I really liked playing video games a lot. And um, obviously, as I've gotten older, I've had less time to play video games with more f important focus on school and such. So, um, yeah, that's a little bit about myself. And the second question is, tell me, or tell me about a significant accomplishment in your life. So, some uh, significant accomplishment in my life was one of, one of my hockey teams, we won a tournament when I was 10, years, 10 to 11 years old. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I played a flyer skate zone for three years in Voorhees, New Jersey. And there's about, there's five flyer skate zones, which are in Voorhees, Pentalk, and New, uh, Northeast Philadelphia, Hollydell, and Atlantic City. And each of the skate zones has one team each, except for Voorhees, which has two, which are orange and white. And um, I was always on the white team for the three years that I played. And each year, we, there was a tournament between the six teams. And the one year in, when I was 10 or, 10 or 11, uh, we won the tournament. And it was the only year that my team won the tournament, which made it even more special. So the, the overall tournament was a two-game elimination tournament. And um, so we lost one of our f like first couple games to Northeast Philadelphia, which really put the pressure on us because another loss would have made another loss would have made sure that we were eliminated. But fortunately for us, we kept winning our games, and eventually we played in Atlantic City in the championship game. And Atlantic City was kind of like the powerhouse team out of the six. You know, each year they always went deep in the tournament, and they were like the team to beat, kind of. But uh, in the championship game, we ended up beating them seven to five, and uh, you know my teammates and my uh, coaches, we were all very ecstatic after the game. Uh, we all celebrated after the game. We went out to eat. We all got a trophy with our names on it. Uh, we signed each other's jerseys. It was like really fun, and um, so yeah, that was a significant accomplishment in my life. And the third final, third and final question is. Tell me something you've learned in class. So obviously being a big sports fan, uh, anyone that watches sports knows the importance of teams and teamwork and how that can lead to the success of a team. Obviously a team that has players that aren't committed to the team is going to be a, a team that loses a lot and very dysfunctional. And obviously the good teams are teams that are made up of players that are committed to the goals of the team. But in business, in business overall, I wasn't, I wasn't really aware how important teams were to the overall strategies and goals of business projects, because you know I just thought that teams were something that like only mattered in sports. But uh, as as I've seen and experienced firsthand in the build a business case project, uh, me and my team, we all um, 
we were all on the same page and uh, we all got the project done in a timely and efficient manner. Uh, Tuckman's model for our teams, which is forming, storming, norming, performing, and adjoining. Uh, I think these five concepts, if incorporated correctly, can easily lead to success and function of a team. And, you know, in the business world, a dysfunctional team can lead to many consequences, such as a loss in one's salary, one's benefits, one's um, bonuses, and even a loss in, in even they, like, they can even lose their job, basically, if they are um, too dysfunctional and can't get the uh, overall goals of the business down. And another thing I learned in this class was about some companies that are struggling, like Uber and Tesla. So obviously Uber has a little bit of a culture problem, and uh, their former CEO mishandled a lot of the things that were going on in the workplace. And then on the Tesla side, they were having a lot of problems with the production of their new cars. And um, just uh, I've been reading the journal a lot lately, and uh, I really never read the Wall Street Journal before um, enrolling in this class. I never really took a, a business class in high school or, or any of that, so I really like. Oh, business was pretty new to me when it comes to like knowing about certain companies and the ins and outs of them. So uh, those are some things that I've learned in this class. And uh, to uh, to include with the interviewing project, my name is Zach Nunato again. And um, that was a little bit about myself, a significant accomplishment, and something I've learned in this class.